I kind of live like it's just sunrise and sunset and there's no time for anything. So I try to overwork myself and panic like it's tomorrow this has to be done. Ryan Kenneth Peterson, he's the original that did the ADI makeup. I felt I was really inspired by his because man, like eight-year-old me, if Willem Dafoe got to wear that thing, man, I would be terrified. He really made it come off the page and I'm a cosplayer too. I felt like that thing needed to exist and have a bit more life. But first I had to float the sculpture to transfer it on a, uh, what we call a snap and it's another positive and it's to give the mask more movement, more prosthetic, if you will. I place it on that as a, another positive and to prep it for a, its own molding process. Foam is a, a bit stressful because of the heat's changing. We're leading into spring here too, so numerous of factors could happen with foam, whatever, not gelling or just, it just doesn't like you. <laughs> but getting that ready and making sure you have good gel time and everything is uh, appropriate for it to get your molds closed in time and ready to be hauled into the oven once gelled. The biggest hurdle, probably right now, paint. Testing a lot of colors and I'll admit I'm a bit of a nervous painter, but I'll get there. I'm trying to think of what strikes plausible for a creature that has green skin that could still come off as like human-esque. My name's Dylan Culp and I'm on the road to WonderCon.